This will be a short video on how to find the fast moving rings. This one's in the bubble in HIP 57352 on the third planet. When you're approaching the planet, you want to find the gap between the rings. There's a small gap toward the inside. You don't want that. You want the larger gap as shown in the picture here. Now that we've identified the general area, you have to uh, narrow it down even a little bit further. As you approach that gap, you need to be just on the inside or outside of the rings. You don't want to be in the center of the black as you'll pass right through the rings. Right about where those two circles are, there'll be asteroids that you can't see until you get close. Once you get closer to them, you're going to kind of level out and fly parallel with the rings to line up so you can see them. Now it doesn't matter which side you drop in on, the moving rings will always be on the other side. So if you drop on the side closest to the planet, the moving rings will be on the other side. If you drop on the other side, they'll be closer to the rings on the inside. And I'll demonstrate that here now. Once you drop, the only way to reach them is by boosting. And it's probably going to take you five to ten minutes depending on the, the boost rate of your ship. So you just have to boost to them. When you actually finally reach them, you can actually log out, log back in, and they'll be moving. You can wing up and people can nav lock and drop you on the moving section. It's just the initial first person has to actually boost to that location to reach it. After a little bit of space porn, we'll show what happens if you actually fly down into them. Do that at your own risk. I have actually found these fast moving rings in several other Jovians, so when you're out exploring or just flying around, if you happen to notice a gap, why not try it? Hop down in and see if you can find some of your own. Yeah. <laughs>